put the pain in the trunks of the darkness. I love you too. Is the worst feeling you have felt. Come on, come on, come on. Sound as a Rajal, Rajal. We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The Prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. 
Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. I am happy to wait. I have all the time in the world. Tell me when you have time to be alone. Everywhere there are signs of battle, but what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? Should I continue from good? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? 
Still, it's better than nothing. Lena. No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. Sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never 
In all my visions of the future did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? And why? Continue my I will continue my story from here next time. You should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain. But a selfish one as well, for he was motivated to ease his own pain. I 
I know these streets. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this.
Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Should I continue from here when you return? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here?
Resting now. 
recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief. Hunted in my own city. Thank you. 
Shall I continue my story? I will continue my story from here next time. Continue my story. The Kylie Nurse story, Nick. Who wrote this again? Attention to what the prince oh, overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Should I continue from here when you return? <laughs> Let's start the show. You let me do it. Let us let's go. Whatever you take, you go down to the next place. Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, 
intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place. Its halls deserted, and its guardians left <laughs> Strange tales adorned its walls. The Empress, an Empress of Time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no choice. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff, a dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contain. For even then, I was an older man and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sands. But you were gone. They were gone. Or so I thought. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. Then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred. Whispered to me, moved me towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom. His army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! What have we here? The vizier! Ah, you must be the prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. No! Helena!
forgive what I have done, wherever you are. My story from here if you are called away. Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. 